Welcome to the video. For those that don't know, Armor Reforger released on Steam, which is the foundation for Armor 4. Armor 4 was announced as in development by Bohemia Interactive in their live stream, and we were there and streamed it and it reacted to it kind of live, and it looked pretty impressive. Reforger released uh, during this live stream, which is a kind of multiplayer demo with uh, the original map from Flashpoint, I believe, remastered, and we can have the Game Master tools, which is pretty much the follow-up to Zeus from Armor 3, as well as multiplayer servers up to 64 players default. There's already a bunch of mods released on the workshop that comes with Reforger, and the workshop is fully compatible with the console versions of Armor Reforger, so mods in the future will be able to be used uh, to a certain degree, and I'll get to that in a minute, on console as well, to a certain degree being memory limits and hard drive limits uh, permitting, you know, with the hard drives, if it exceeds the memory limit of that console, which is not upgradable, then it won't be usable on a console or it will cause issues. Or if it's bigger than the hard drive capacity for your console, it won't fit on the hard drive, etc. Um, but other than that, you should be able to, for the most part, use mods that PC users use, which is great news. The downside of that is that this does feel very consoleified from what I have played. Um, this is just purely off experience from Armor 3. Obviously, I've played Armor games since uh, Flashpoint, since the beginning, uh, whenever the beginning was, 20 odd years ago. Uh, this is um, uh, a little bit simpler, I would say. It's got some uh, kind of hotkeys, some contextual like uh, pop up menus that you press and hold, which would uh, suggest that they have like really thought about pushing this to a console audience, which, don't get me wrong, is understandable from a marketplace uh, point of view and a business point of view. Wanted to make money, you know, push it towards console players. You're going to get more of a customer base uh, and stuff like that, which is, seems to be the case. At the moment, I believe there is a timed exclusive for Armory Forger on Xbox, Xbox Series S and Series X, uh, but that will be coming to PS5 at some point in the future. I haven't got my hands on the Xbox version yet, but I will do, and I will test out mods when the time comes and see how they perform and how easy it is to get PC mods onto the console and all that stuff. It's all integrated, though, and very simple, very straightforward. Go into the workshop, download the mod you want, and it should automatically load into the server and your game on the server that you want. You don't need to close the game completely, as we have had to previously with DayZ and Armor 3. You have to close your game, then relaunch with the mods on the server that you want. Now it will just, you just back out to the menu, choose a different server. It will unload and load the new mods for the new server. There are a few mods out there. They are very simplistic, just changing the color of the Jeep from green to blue and things like that. I think somebody's tried modding an M4, uh, the M16 into the M4. Some very basic mods at the moment, but uh, there are some live mods on there, which is very uh, surprising to see literally uh, the day after uh, release. I did record a lot of this footage on day of release, straight after the live stream happened. I finished my live stream, downloaded Armor Reforger, and then recorded my experience. I had major issues actually getting into a server, just kept kicking me out and connection uh, failed to establish. Or an error would pop up for, for joining, error could not join and stuff like that. So I did manage to get into a few servers, but not many. And if I did get into a server, uh, probably three times out of five, it would kick me back to the main menu with this error. However, I did manage to get a little bit of gameplay, as you can see. And this is a first impressions. It's not a review. This is just purely off of my little bit of experience. I've had first impressions. As a tech standpoint, um, it's pretty impressive. We have got uh, to see a little bit more of what Infusion has to offer. Oh, I forgot to mention audio as well. That's really good. All um, re-recorded. And yeah, you'll have really nice sound effects. Bullets, whizzes and snaps above your head and gunshots in the distance, explosions. It all sounds and looks amazing in Infusion. The visuals are very impressive, really sharp, detailed tessellation, bump mapping on the uh, terrain textures and everything is super high detail. Uh, the gravel, the pebbles and the uh, trees, the mud, the dirt, the stones, uh, everything looks really nice. Foliage is as you'd expect from, uh, you know, us playing DayZ and seeing the infusion renderer in action. And the full infusion in force is really impressive. And of course, this is not Armor 4. This is kind of like a test bed, a foundation for what Armor 4 will be built on as something for us to kind of test out and get a head start on in the workshop and see what, what kind of things we can expect from Armor 4, whatever that may be based on, whatever type of era and weaponry and uh, vehicles that we might see in that. We can kind of get a feel for it and get a head start on modding on the full Infusion engine. Uh, I will make a video separate on the Infusion tools, which is also downloadable in Steam, a separate launcher and download, uh, but you'll have the Armor Reforger tools and you can make terrains and models and all kinds of cool stuff 
modify existing armor reforger assets or make your own and put them in and add them to the workshop it's all inbuilt in its own kind of ecosystem now separate from steam so it's a lot more controllable from bohemia's standpoint hence the console modding ability so that's kind of where i am at the moment with my first impressions it's impressive from a tech standpoint very consolified being you know a bigger customer base that Bohemia are trying to reach. A lot of people did want mods coming to Xbox. The amount of times we've saw what about Xbox and all that in tweets and forums. You know, when are we going to see this on console, this mod and, and so on? Um, they've got that now. That's something that's uh, obviously been on the back of their minds for a while. This is a thing. Um, the only bad thing is, are we going to see a massively consolified armor in the future, armor 4? We don't know if that will be the case. Armor 3 was a lot of controls. A lot of controls with Armor 3 and just couldn't be done on a, on a console with the amount of keys that you had to press. And we had all of the, uh, you know, you could change the height of your character to peek over walls and things like that. None of that's in this build of Armor Reforger. But, uh, you know, that's not to say that it's not going to be part of Armor 4, the more complex PC orientated armor. Uh, we, you know, we could still get that more complex armor that, that we all want as uh, longtime fans. But there will be a chance that it could be uh, potentially consolified. Looking at this build, this uh, this pre Armor Four kind of test bed that we are uh, are being offered here with Armory Forger, twenty four ninety nine on Steam British pounds that is, and you get all the tools and the Armory Forger multiplayer kind of portion of it to test out on this uh, this remaster of the map, which is very detailed and really nice to explore. You can get to play with the Game Master, which is the reimagining or the follow up to Zeus from Armor Three. I've had a little play with it. It does work really well. Spawning assets and things like that. The other good thing as well, which reminds me um, of spawning vehicles, was the new Infusion Vehicle Sim technology. Works really well. I've not seen a single stutter or problem in a multiplayer experience. Not that I played many. I uh, probably managed to get into three or four servers with uh, vehicles driving around. I didn't see any like weird behavior that you used to from like Armor 3, Armor 2, or DayZ, especially. And this is the tech that we will be seeing coming to DayZ later on in the year i believe so uh i'm pretty impressed and from the live stream i was uh it was very passionate about it which they always are bohemia uh, you can't fault bohemia on their passion for their projects yeah there was there was a a great deal of um pride i think in the facial expressions when speaking about the new vehicle sim uh that that's uh in uh the armor reforger and what will be coming to daisy and future projects of course that bohemia will, that are working on which includes Armor 4 now, which we know of. So, yeah, let me know your comments. I'll leave you with some gameplay uh, recorded a little bit. It's um, I, I, I definitely feel the gameplay. There are bugs, don't get me wrong. I saw a building that had literally no lighting in it and no textures. It looked really weird. Uh, when you vault over a, a, a wall or something, the camera shoots up in the sky and you just it's just unplayable if that, that happens a lot of time. You can't like get on target. The camera takes control away from you. It's, uh, yeah, definitely a work in progress, but it is early access. Don't get me wrong. So I'm a little bit worried on the consolification feel of this, but, you know, can't really say much until we know more about Armor 4 and get a, more, a better look at that, hopefully. Hopefully the PC has the full PC potential put into it control-wise as we expect with Armor 3 and previous uh, titles, but I can totally understand looking at it from a marketing uh, business standpoint why they would go the more consolification route, if you understand what I'm saying, if that makes sense. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Armor Reforger. Are you excited? Has it kind of disappointed you a little bit on the uh, simplicity of the, the feel for this in-game? Or um, are you just imp impressed as a technical standpoint of what this uh, looks like, achieves, sounds? Did you buy Reforger and, and, and immediately uh, refund it when you couldn't join a server? Or are you excited for Armor 4 and don't care either way because Bohemia are legends and just going to make a game that you're just going to buy either way? Let me know in the comment section below, good or bad, I don't care. We like to have discussions here. Don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more of the content I create. I love you all and I'll see you peeps next time. Whoa!